Okay, so I'll go ahead and start. The um, problem I'm dealing with is how to incorporate practice hypotheticals in an online course. Teaching law courses, I use practice hypotheticals to teach my students how to apply the legal principles we've learned to fact scenarios that I make up. Uh, basically, this is what lawyers do. Uh, they identify legal issues, and then they apply legal rules in reasoning by analogy. Usually, I do this in class, and um, the students raise their hand and offer ideas, and I guide the discussion. Um, here, I convert that process to an online-only format. And I do so using the Blackboard uh, test assessment tool. So when students go to the Blackboard site, they would see um, these first two items here, practice hypothetical and practice hypothetical discussion. It's online. The practice hypothetical is presented using the test tool uh, to allow uh, feedback and timing and other features. So when students click on the test, uh, practice hypothetical uh, link, they would get this. And basically, it's just a, a fact scenario that I've made up that, that incorporates a lot of the legal issues we're dealing with in the human rights class. Uh, and the students, once they've, once they've entered the test, have one hour to answer it. Um, Yeah. Okay. And by answer, I mean that they are to type in a, an identifying all the issues. And, and uh, I explain in the directions for my faculty um, observers' suggestions the difference between save and submit here that they can save their work as they go along, but they're not to submit until um, they're ready to actually uh, turn, turn the test in, turn the practice hypothetical in. I also explain in the directions that the exercise is ungraded it's for their benefit only, and I will uh, incorporate this into basically class time uh, when I design the course, when I have the whole course designed. So once they've uh, submitted it, they um, the benefit of the test tool here is they get to see kind of immediate to results. Here. It's not displaying there because QuickTime is not updated on there. Tested the, this machine. And the results um, come in the form of my correct answer, uh, so called correct answer, and then the answers of all the other students who have uh, turned in the test. Um, and, you know, whenever I do these practice hypotheticals, students are always com coming up with issues I haven't even think, thought of. So it's nice for them to have the ability to see other students' um, ideas. Once this process is online uh, discussion using the discussion board. And here is where I can correct any additional errors that aren't in my correct answer and, and give credit to those students who come up with some innovative uh, arguments that I hadn't thought of.
encourage those passive students to participate more. He did raise the issue of um, you know, the difficulty in discussions online, but I thought the discussion board was as you know, close as you can get to um, doing that. And then finally, my faculty feedback, um, Dr. Forstier, um, she had questions about letting students uh, take this practice hypothetical so-called test multiple times. This didn't have a time limit and allow them to take it a lot. And I allowed them to, to retake the practice hypothetical after submitting their answers because a lot of students use these tools to prepare for tests. Um, and uh, so they go back at the end of the section and sort of do this again to make sure they've really got the material down pat. Professor Forster also um, asked about uh, or suggested that I separate the test and the answer into four parts. Uh, I will consider this, but different students organize their, their answers quite differently. Uh, one student's part one could be another student's part four. Some organize it by a legal case, you know, Smith versus Jones, while others organize it by a topic, refugee law, something like that. And Professor Forrester recommended that I actually uh, add the thread myself to the discussion board and don't rely on the students to do that. And in creating the discussion about the hypothetical, so of course I've done, I've done that, that was a, uh, an omission on my part. Okay, so that's it, are there any questions? Yeah, I'm thinking about this question about um, uh, grading, and uh, I'm going to use these yeah, that's, as, that's as the part speaker. of right there. the no. class. So, so it can be the just like carrot, the carrot. Click that. Hey, class. And the speaker. So they're encouraged to, to do this there. basically there because go. it's for their own benefit. No. We're interested in while well, find this part Wait, of the class, um, and. Um, and so I'm hoping that will be enough to get them to participate. Uh, I am considering, and I'd be happy to hear your thoughts on this, um, giving them credit as part of the class participation grade. Um, you may recall from my first deliverable that um, there's a pretty elaborate class participation grade involving um, discussion and getting involved in, in online discussions. And I could easily incorporate participating in hypotheticals as part of that grade. So I'll mute you right yeah. now. Jeffrey, this is John Fritz. Um, unfortunately, not everybody could see the QuickTime video that you were showing. Uh, I was able to see it on mine. The problem was not on your end. On our end, we didn't have QuickTime updated on the computer that was displaying the QuickTime that you showed. So not everybody was able to see that. I know you're not a big fan of Wimba, um, but this is not something that, that you could have done. It's just something that on, on this end. So in terms of what you actually showed, I was the only one who could see it. Um, the, the feedback, I would say, I, I think giving the, the credit for participation, do you do any kind of participation credit now? And you can unmute his answer. Do you do, do, you do any? Do any Here. Okay, I need you to mute one more time. Muting mm, away. There. Do you do any kind of participation credit now in your face to face course? I do. Um, it's usually pretty minimal. Um, I find that uh, class participation grades in my kinds of courses can be very subjective. Uh, but yet I still want to give students who participate actively credit, so it's usually pretty minimal. In the online course, it's going to be more substantial because there's going to be a, a, a you know, measured participation. I kind of shared that in my first deliverable a while back. Um, so yes. And one thing, I just want to address the, the QuickTime video. Basically, I, I didn't have a video. I just had um, images 
uh, screen captures of the Blackboard website. Uh, and the reason I did that is because in Wimba, when you have a, uh, a link uh, to the Blackboard, it exits you from Wimba. Uh, and, and there's no way of incorporating the Blackboard items unless they're like documents or PowerPoints or something terminal like that. If they're a discussion board or a test, you, you can't do it as far as I can see. Jeffrey, um, just real quickly, I, I know that it wasn't a movie, it was an image. You can, using uh, um, sharing inside of Wimba, you can show any, any website, including what you're on inside of Blackboard. Let me just ask you this, do you anticipate using Wimba yourself for your hybrid course? For this one, I don't. I plan on using uh, recorded lectures, and video lectures, uh, and post them either on Blackboard or on iTunes, either one. Um, that's the idea. I, I noticed that I think Blackboard has a new feature, uh, maybe it's called Lecture Capture or something like that. Uh, I, I'd be happy to look into it. I think Wimba has a lot of potential and, and maybe just you know getting more and more comfortable with it. Yeah, Echo 360, that sounds right. Anybody? Any other questions? Mm -hmm. oh, the weather He's in here. Costa Rica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I made this gym. Yeah. Maybe you could just mute one more time when we're not. <laughs> yes, but you better hurry. I'm only here for two more months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen, thank you all so much for accommodating uh, the distance issues once again. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Jeffrey. I know you did a lot on this as well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Boy, it's yeah, like one hand is trying to do the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Are we ready to move on? I think we're done. Are we done? Okay. Are done? For those who persisted through, thank you so much. All right. John, is that the way it's going to be for this student? The, the problem is he's not here. And that's also the problem he's going to face, you know, when he's in class. But he will be here. He's just not going to be in Costa Rica. When he's doing his class, we were trying to accommodate him participating in the program using a tool he had never used before. Thinking through the stuff, you know, last time when we were trying to talk with him, we were getting the microphone feedback. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a lot of just his connection was probably 500 percent better today. Yeah, now yeah. Than so it was last he's, time. he's not going to be doing this. Although I think he may be interested in using Wimba, but you know, so the, some of the problems that he was describing where you can't show. You can show, it's just, we haven't, I don't think he's explored that option where most, when you're using Wimbo, a lot of times people just use PowerPoint. Yeah. Well, what you can actually do is record the screen while you're in it. But it's a setting that not most people use. It can be a little challenging to find and practice with, and that's that's with a lot of the stuff, you gotta practice with it. Yeah. Put in time, if you just expect to kind of like, like a class, walk up 10 minutes before, yeah. And say I'm going to turn the supper on. Yeah, I showed the video when I was right. out. Yeah, we went and twice. It's, 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 it's like going in yeah. waves yeah. as they were getting yeah. to it and not getting to right. it. Right. So it, it works if you prepare. Um, but even when you prepare, something's going to happen. But when his students see this, it'll be a lot simpler. It'll just be looking at. Well, okay. he's going to be doing a hybrid. Is he doing a hybrid course or all online. 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 Yeah. online? So he is going to have to it's deal with the yeah. completely yeah. online. Uh, the advantage I think he'll have is he'll have better connections and possibly better practice now. So if nothing else, he's had to eat his own dog food here yeah. to uh, yeah. try to get ready. What do you think about his idea of recording lectures? I mean, because um, I, I know we've I've heard a lot of talk about you know making sure you chunk that in little pieces, and yeah. I'm I'm just throwing that question out more to the group of what are the thoughts about watching a professor lecture. I've screen. asked my students who have put up with me this semester in four different courses over the course of two weeks because I was out. And I said, do I break them up into chunks into like five or ten minute increments? And they said, no, give us the hour. That way we'll 
I was really surprised. Uh -huh. They said, give us the hour. That way we know we are putting the hour to the side to pay attention to what you're saying, and we know we can go back to it, uh -huh. but we want the hour. Five minutes, we're not going to listen to you for five minutes. It's uh -huh. going to take us five minutes to get used to the idea uh -huh. of listening to you. Uh -huh. yeah, the I, hear, I hear different feedback. I hear yeah. different feedback. Do, do you know yes. I'm going to ask more classes. Yes. I mean, I asked marriage and family. I, I think this has more to do. do. I could listen to you for an hour. Could you really, John? I, 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 could, I could listen to you for an hour. Uh, there's other people I couldn't. Uh, in the best of circumstances. Yeah. And, and yeah. now we take them and make them remote and online. It, you know, that's where I don't think there is a rule of thumb. But, you know, when he first was talking about doing this, I thought he was saying, like, two-hour lectures. Yeah, that's what he said last year. Yeah. You know, he was going to do two, two and a half hour lectures. That, that's going to be tough. You know, it's going to be. He didn't say that anyway. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I thought last time he said, like, two-hour lectures. Yeah. What if I go to the movie? You might bring that half. Both ways. Having the, having the full lecture and then having the condensed version. Let them have their opportunity. They can stop. They can pick it up because we're going to break you down in like four or five minutes. I just thought that was a lot of time. Because all my all my archives, the ones I remember to archive, are broken. So students can do that. Students can see the same thing I see. Yeah, so they can get sick of it and walk away. Your, your point about recording lectures, you know, I hear different things, but you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna lecture, anyway, um, if you could do it in a way where it captures it after the fact, you know, why not do it that way? Um, but people learn differently, you know, and I think some people need one yeah, whole hour. I mean. Other other people, you know, the prospect of seeing an hour, because you'll see on the recording. There, how long it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. That could, I mean, a lot of these things are how do people view the web? And people do it differently, but you see a big long file or a big file, and it's like, wow, I'm going to be here for a while. Yeah. Um, the downloads is just. Yeah. Cool. So what this, what this really does is it calls into question the efficacy of lecturing, period. <laughs> which a, which a lot that. of people. Are starting to question. Okay. Are they really? Uh -huh. I can't see getting the material, a lot of the material for both classes that I'm doing in without lecture. I'm just saying the new tools are Not shining some light on. on I, yeah. I'm with you, yeah. but I'd, I'd love to see them because I'd like to see. You should how take a look at now. Eric Mazur's Confessions of a Converted Lecturer. Tell me that. Tell me that. <laughs> 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 